Hey, what up? It is your girl, Melissa Denise. So today I am trying out a new heat tool that I've always been kind of curious about. There's a bunch of different versions out there, but this one is by Red Pro and it is their ceramic ionic heat brush. And it says it's going to give you a less frizz and more shine due to the built-in ionic generators. It has five different heat settings, which is ideal since we all have different textures here. It goes up to 450. And yeah, so let's give it a go. I'll give you a little bit more information as we go on in the video. So I wanted to put a li as little amount of heat in my hair as possible. So last night after I washed my hair, I put some leave-in, some oil, and I twisted it and let it dry overnight. And now I'm just taking those twists down. I am applying some heat protectant, working that through, and I'm just going to take the brush and give it a few passes through. Sometimes I start on a high heat and I want to go lower or vice versa and one thing that I really really appreciated about this is that it only heats up within 30 seconds so you know there's no like lag time in between. One thing that is definitely essential while doing this is after you apply your um, heat protectant, make sure that you are using a brush to completely detangle and um, stretch that section off out a little bit more. I only did two or three passes on each section. Like I said, I don't wanna put a ton of heat in my hair right now. And as you know, my hair is extremely thick, so my hair didn't get bone straight, but it still gave me a really good, you know, flat iron blown out look. I found that the best technique to use is to put the brush on top of the section of hair and brush it straight down. I also found that putting a little tension on my hair by holding it straight out or down also helped with the process. So again, here is another example of me using the technique of doing the brush on top of the section. So far, my honest opinion about this is that it definitely cut down on my styling time and if you don't necessarily have a technique or know how to flat iron your hair with a normal flat iron, this is literally mad easy. If you know how to brush your hair, you can use it. Um, I just want to show you guys really quickly. So this is after me passing using one pass and then this is going to be after me using two passes. Or maybe this is the third pass. Okay, yeah, <laughs> three passes. So it's still like decently straight. It's not bone straight, but I still actually like it a lot. Maybe if I would have done smaller sections, I would have gotten it a little bit straighter, but I know there's so many people that would prefer my hair look like this than a bone, bone straight, but you know, to each his own. So a uh, concern is always our roots. Can it get our roots straight? And yes, it can. Sadly, I didn't actually film this part or show like a detail of it, but if you take the brush and put it in your roots and work it a few times, then it definitely will get your roots straight. So that's nothing to be concerned about. I honestly couldn't tell you how many times I have burnt my scalp when flat ironing my hair, but I didn't have this problem at all with this. If you see like the darker gray sections on the bristle, that is working as a barrier between your scalp and the actual plate. So the little lighter gray sections, that is the plate. So that's definitely ideal when you think about your scalp being protected from heat. All in all, I am pretty happy and satisfied with my results. Let me know what you guys think down below. My hair still feels smooth and silky. You know, sometimes you flat on your hair and it feels fried and crusty. Yeah, I don't have that problem. But let me know if you guys would like me to do more reviews on different tools and what they are. And I will definitely try and get those out to you. If you are interested in getting your own, I will leave the links and information down below. So make sure you check out the description box. And also consider popping into your local beauty supply store because I know they are they are sold there as well for $39.99 just make sure you are getting the red pro version but like always I love you I appreciate you and I will see you guys in my next video bye